Introduction Animation has a special place in all of our hearts. It's what most of us grew up watching as children and continue to watch today. At the age of nine, I often used to visit Pixar's website. I was obsessed with their movies and wanted to know what skills I needed to work there in the future. I knew they dealt with computer graphics, so back then I had my mindset, I'll study computer science. In high school, I enrolled in AP Computer Science, thinking this would lead me to a career at Pixar. Not long into the course, I found out I wasn't interested in computer science at all, and my teacher didn't mention animation once. I dreaded going to class and eventually failed it. After this devastating experience, I quietly put my dreams of working in the animation industry away. Fast forward to college. I met someone who had interned at DreamWorks twice and Nickelodeon, and was currently interviewing to intern at Pixar. Needless to say, I was curious. I had so many questions. How did he work for all of these animation studios as a junior? How did he get an internship in Southern California when we were seven hours away in Northern California? Did he take time off school? Does the school even allow it? I went home and looked on Pixar's website. I'd forgotten that as a college student, I could apply to their programs. My excitement came and went as I quickly became confused about what these internships' roles were. I had yet more questions. Did I have the necessary skills and experience to be a production intern? What does a production intern even do? As children and young adults, we enjoy this beautiful art form, but most never consider a career in it. I, for one, assumed that you had to be a talented drawer or a computer whiz kid to be in the industry, which I later found out wasn't true. But when you're starting out, the question is, how does one get into what seems like an exclusive industry? Can non-artists be part of the industry? What kind of jobs are there? All of these questions can be answered through an internship. During an internship, you'll gain knowledge, but more importantly, experience. Internships get you started with networking and exploring different departments, and can even be a stepping stone for a job in the industry. But then comes another roadblock. So the real question is, how do you get an animation internship? Animation jobs are some of the most competitive to attain and internships are the best way to improve your chances of getting one. With this book, you'll be able to set your application apart and know how to tailor your resume to increase the likelihood of gaining an internship. Animation has become a huge industry. It's an exciting world that most of us love to be in and an internship is the best way in. About this book. This book was inspired by a blog that I started called The Storyboard Room. I created the blog to offer knowledge and advice to college students who want to get into the animation industry and have no idea where to start. I know firsthand just how hard it is to find any information on getting an internship in the animation industry. So I wanted to provide a place where students or anyone interested could visit and get their questions answered from industry professionals. It worked and the blog was so popular that I am now inundated with questions. So I decided to write this book to answer the sheer number of questions and to give my personal advice, and it isn't possible to reply to each and every email. As much as I'd like to build a personal connection with every student, this book is a far better solution as I can go into detail and provide you with as much information as possible. This book contains all of my knowledge and experience laid out for you to use as a blueprint when trying to get into the animation industry. I'll also give you a behind-the-scenes look from people who work in the industry, with interviews from employees and students who have entered at major animation studios such as Nickelodeon Animation Studio, DreamWorks Animation Studio, Walt Disney Animation Studio, Cartoon Network, Laika, and Industrial Light and Magic. These interviews cover various departments in the animation industry and how they went from an intern to an industry professional. All in all, I hope this book relieves the stress that comes with pursuing an internship in the animation industry. Just know I can't promise you an internship. That's ultimately up to you and how badly you want it. What I can give you is helpful tips and insightful knowledge from industry professionals, which took me years to accumulate to help you on your path into show business.
I've built many relationships with recruiters, and I have gathered solid knowledge of what entertainment studios look for in an intern. Take what you need from this book and disregard what you don't. Remember, everyone has their own path. My goal is to show you what I have done so you can study and learn from it and hopefully succeed even more than I have. Stay focused and don't give up. Your time will come. If you'd like to stay updated, be sure to follow my blog, The Storyboard Room, which you can find at www.eric-bravo.com slash the-storyboard-room. Who this book is for. I'm assuming that most of you reading this are college students. I understand that you have other things on your plate, like going to class, studying, and having a social life. So I'm going to make this book simple, straight to the point, and easy to digest. I'll try my best to give you digestible insight without too much fluff. I'd also like to say that this book focuses and is geared towards students at an accredited degree-granting college or university. The reason being, most animation internships require you to be a student attending a degree-granting college or university. Sorry to break it to you high schoolers, the major studios do not accept any high school students for internships. But if you're reading this book already, kudos to you! You'll be more than prepared when it's your time to apply. The major studios only accept junior and senior students as of now. Depending on how many credits you have already taken, you can be considered a junior even if you are in your first or second year. For international students, proper work authorization is needed to be employed within the United States, so you must be able to provide such documents. Most studios accept students who are enrolled in graduate or law school. However, I won't be speaking about graduate or law student internships as I haven't personally attained an internship this way. However, the principal information here can still be applied. Also, programs are constantly growing and are being upgraded as requirements change. So be sure to read the Studios Requirements section to make sure you qualify. For example, studios are now letting recent graduates apply for internships, something that wasn't allowed after my graduation. How to read this book I designed this book to be used as a guide, making it easy for you to quickly reference a topic or section. I do recommend reading the book all the way through first so you can get a general idea of the internship process and familiarize yourself with it. Afterward, you can skip to any section that you may need help with or want to improve in. The Q&A sections are there to inspire and give you insight from people who were in your position and who have successfully attained an internship and a position in the animation industry, but you may skip them if you choose. My Story how did I intern at Warner Brothers Records, Nickelodeon Animation Studio, and DreamWorks Animation Studio all in one year? First, I would like to clear the air. No, I am not the son of an executive. No, I did not have an in or know anyone in the industry, and no, I was not a 4.0 student or remotely close to being top of my class. Heck, I wasn't even an animation or film major. What I did have was two things. The first was a strong passion and love for entertainment, because you can't be great at something you hate. The second was being persistent. I was rejected many times and for many years. It wasn't until my fifth year in college when things started working out for me. The passion and love kept me sane when I felt I was hitting a brick wall, and the persistence kept me pushing until I finally broke through. Without these two qualities, you won't get far. The interview below will give you a better sense of my story, who I am, and how I was able to intern at three major studios in one year. Q&A with Eric Bravo, creator and writer of Nickelodeon's The Outsiders, founder of Bravo Brothers Studios, financial analyst at Lionsgate Entertainment, mapping operations associate on Google's self-driving car project, Production Intern on Penguins of Madagascar at DreamWorks Animation. Vault Intern at Nickelodeon Animation Studio. International Marketing Intern at Warner Brothers Records. Prior to my animation career, I initially wanted to pursue a career in the music industry. I prolonged my graduation date to intern in the International Marketing Department at Warner Brothers Records, WBR. 
After the WBR internship, I was curious to see whether I could intern at a childhood dream studio. So I decided to apply to Nickelodeon's internship program the following semester. I was accepted to Nickelodeon, ranked as one of Forbes' top 10 internships, and there I found my passion for animation. I went from a vault intern to eventually being a creator and writer of my very own cartoon short, The Outsiders. I also got an opportunity to work on the movie Penguins of Madagascar at DreamWorks Animation Studio. During this internship stint, I attended UC Davis, where I got a Bachelor of Science degree in managerial economics. After college, I got an incredible opportunity to make a cartoon short as part of Nickelodeon's animation shorts program while working simultaneously at Google on their self-driving car project. I am now an author, travel blogger, landscape and cityscape photographer, and a financial analyst at Lionsgate, and the founder of Bravo Brothers Studio. In the following interview, you can find out more about me and what I do based on common questions I've been asked over the years. Question. What college did I attend and what was my major? Did this help with my pursuit in the entertainment industry? I attended UC Santa Cruz for two years and then transferred to UC Davis for the last three years of college. Yes, I was a super senior. I majored in managerial economics, which is essentially a business degree. I honestly feel that my major didn't help me get into the entertainment industry. However, it has been a great conversation starter for interviews since there are very few economic students trying to get into animation. Even though my major didn't help much, school was a great asset in my pursuit of working in the entertainment industry because you must be a student to get an animation internship. I was also involved in a business fraternity, Delta Sigma Pi, which taught me valuable interview skills. Question. When did I know I wanted to be in the entertainment slash animation industry and what events led me to choose it? As a kid, I always knew I wanted to do something in entertainment or film related, but I never knew what exactly. I had many creative hobbies, but I never really acted on them until my study abroad trip to Madrid, which was during my fifth year of college. On that trip, I meet two super creative classmates. They were both photographers, musicians, and writers. Just being around them and seeing their work gave me the confidence and inspiration to pursue my creative interest. This spark eventually led me into entertainment and animation. One of these super talented creative classmates was Uyen Kao. She's a designer at Forbes and Time, a photographer and musician. You can find her at www.uyenthoaica.com. O.com. Question. Did anyone anything inspire me to follow my passion for entertainment animation? Walt Disney, undoubtedly. My mom is a huge Mickey Mouse fan, so we grew up with Disney everything. I was always surrounded by it. I loved doing research on Walt Disney for school projects because it intrigued me how this man had built a multimedia empire with just a cartoon character. I hope to inspire and help kids one day, just as he did. How did I land the internship at Warner Brothers Records? I landed the WBR internship by applying as an off-season intern. An off-season intern means during the fall or spring semester, not summer like most internships are. I really wanted to get into the music industry and had applied for every internship at the record labels for years. However, I'd never hear anything back which made sense, really, considering I had no experience in the music industry. It wasn't until I was studying at UC Davis that something clicked inside me. I realized all I had to do was go to my school's radio station and volunteer there. I didn't need any experience to do that, and since it was volunteer work, they needed all the help they could get. It was a win-win. After updating my resume with this work experience, I got three interviews for three different positions at WBR. They were for video production, marketing, and international marketing positions. The video production internship required a short film demonstrating my editing skills, so I grabbed my friend and went out to shoot one. The other two positions just required an interview. I got a call back for two interviews, but I encountered a slight problem there. WBR is in Burbank, California, and I was back home in Northern California at the time. I knew I could have asked for a Skype interview instead but I interview better in person. 
So, although it sounds crazy just for an internship interview, I ended up booking a round-trip same-day ticket to LAX and off I went to Burbank in my suit and all. I took an airport shuttle from LAX to WBR. I did both of my interviews back-to-back -back and flew home that same night. It was kind of surreal, but I really wanted the internship, so it was worth it. The next day, the international marketing team offered me the internship and I gladly accepted. 